I mean, smartphone is an important tool, but the camera is also really important. The front-facing camera of the Galaxy S8 is an 8-megapixel camera, while the rear camera is 12 megapixels. Now, some might think it's similar to what we had last year, but Samsung has made a bunch of improvements to this camera, and uh, we're going to see how well it actually handles in terms of recording and taking uh, video as well as shooting uh images, if you will. So one of the things they've done is also improve the camera software. The software is a little bit streamlined, if you will. Uh, but in in light of taking that streamlined approach, I think that they've actually gone away from what the software does well. Now you do have the different modes and options, but I wished for using more of that screen real estate, number one, uh, because you've got a bigger and better display. And I also wanted to see pro mode capabilities with video, which is still not there to a full extent, just a few options, but still, you can take photos in pro mode. But first off, before we do anything else, let's take a look at some video. First, we're gonna look at video uh, in hyperlapse, recording at 120 frames per second, which is really great for recording stuff. And then we'll move on to standard video recording. I'm walking and recording with the Galaxy S8 camera, just to give you an idea of how well the camera works. Audio, it's loud. Uh, in terms of windiness, it should pick this up quite well. Just going in my hand. And uh, giving you a short preview out here, of course, we're still going to do the rooftop as you guys expect. But you get an idea of just how it is walking on the streets. I'm going to cross over to that side of the street because it's darker. And uh, you guys will now see how it flows from lights to dark. Oops, nope, cars are coming, so gotta stop. Bam! Alright. So, still waiting, still waiting for change. Still red, that is still red. That is still red. And I'm crossing. So, crossing to a darker shade, still windy. And then we'll do some stuff on the rooftop here on the roof, recording in 4K. It's doing that usual walk and tour. Like we do with all camera videos, walking into the shade with the Galaxy S8. Uh, again, this is a camera sample. Stuff like that. That gives you a very good idea of what this device does. So, when you have that, and then you spin around, and then you look at different objects as we point down, left and right, and then you walk back into the shade, out of the shade, and into the light, you can see how camera transition usually happens with this. So, all right guys, there you have it with the, oops. Minding that full power, one thing you'll know with the S8 is the, the, the video quality is very good. 4K recording, really sharp, vibrant, OIS works well, but you still get that jittery jump by jump, which I was hoping we'll see more of that fix this year and something the Pixel really did well. Uh, hopefully they can because it's a software feature and not a hardware thing. So that is something I at least I can I hope for improvements. But when it comes to images, I really like the images on the S8. They're really clean, they're really sharp sharp. They're also not oversaturated in my mind. I think the colors pop out the way they should naturally, closer to natural tone as opposed to past years of Samsung. Uh, so looking at the house, you can see the pastel look, the white, everything kind of pops out correctly. Even the shading too, uh, with you know lighting shading. So you can see the shade on the car, the white side, uh, white with the sh on, in the shade and white out of the shade. They kind of look at, at different tints. And even in the subway here, uh, you can almost feel the grime of the dirt in New York subway, <laughs> which is very, very standard. But I like the more naturalistic feel and look. And then we go to this image here where we have a bunch of skateboards and we have a model on different shots. You can see how the 
lighting affects that and affects the rest of the room and the S8 captures that really well um, you know just portraying each image and you can see them quite clearly so I like that with the S8 camera as we move to low light shots and we progressively move to lower uh, light conditions the S8 really captures low light shots very well you know continuing tradition from the S7 you can see all the images quite clearly this is actually rather dark so I, I like the fact that it does a really good job in picking all these images uh, for you with you know Goku Superman Domo Superman and even focusing here on, on a little Batman here uh, you can see the shadow you can even see the shadow from uh, you know backlighting uh, on this so it really goes to show how well this does in picking out low light situations now we go to another situation where it was really dark um, and you can see the dark uh, darkness kind of etching in from the right hand side it's more granulation but still the image I was trying to focus on is quite clear and the last uh, low light situation at least for um, stationary images this was actually really dark it was you you couldn't see it in the viewfinder but you still can capture it now you're not going to take photos in this situation but just showing you the extent of what the camera can do in a really dark situation to still take a photograph of an image without flash now in a setting here where you have it's low light but there's lighting settings because this is a party uh this is the party i did the lg fh uh, 6 speaker review so definitely check that out this again is what the camera can do and it does a really good job in capturing all the light here and just taking photos now uh, video is a different uh, case and I want you guys to take a look at video you're also gonna be listening to sound how it's capturing people's voices noises music and all that stuff in a party low light situations the lights are all turned on red So I was rather impressed with the video quality of the S8 in a low light party situation. Granted, there was more granular in terms of video, but the audio was still good. And also the images were quite clear to grasp and capture. Again, everything is shot in auto. Now we do have a front facing camera, eight megapixels. You can see the quality here. You can also add different, um, uh, skins if you will so those are things that people would like to do uh or filters i'm sorry i apologize i said skins and they actually add a fun element to the front facing camera uh it's not something i use that much so you know if you're a selfie fan that is great for you overall the camera of the galaxy s8 is a damn good camera the one thing i want to see fixed though is that jumping stationary jumping when you're walking around with ois something can be fixed software wise and i think it can be done but when you buy this phone and you're using the auto settings this is all shot in auto uh this camera does a fantastic job for you and you can see in different situations where you're doing hyperlapse you're recording some regular video shooting in low light um uh, recording in low light or taking selfies you're going to get the best bang for your buck with the galaxy s8 camera so guys if you have any questions or any comments let me know don't forget to like and share this video and spread the word uh, as well as if you want to pick up any of our wallpapers use our pinterest link follow border work there and you will get the papers this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment